it's only getting better for you. Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in again. This is the Vincent Wolf Show. I'm Vincent Wolf. Did a whole lot of stuff yesterday, like seeing Cat 3, which will be number one movie in the world, period, exclamation point. The movie is awesome. Quite possibly the best Marvel movie to date. My favorite was Guardians of the Galaxy and coming closely second, Ant-Man. But now Civil War took the cake. Most movies that come out, the trailer has all the good stuff in it. And I understand why you got to sell the movie. You know, I, I get that. But Civil War? No, all the trailer does not have all the good stuff. I'm gonna tell you that right now. All the good stuff is not in the trailer, which, which is perfect. They show you some good stuff in the trailer, some little cameos like Spider-Man. But when you watch the movie, you see all the fantastic stuff that they brought out that they have in the movie, and they have great action scenes, great punchlines. You will not be disappointed. I uh, love the character setup, and they set it up for the next uh, season of movies that are coming out, which I can't wait to see. Uh, another movie I saw was Barbershop 3, which is an awesome, awesome movie. Yeah, yeah, I know it's like two weeks old, but I really wanted to see it. It was super funny, had an awesome, powerful message. It talks about what's going on today, and... Also, what I liked about the movie is that this movie moved forward in time. A lot of movies that have sequels don't move forward in time well. And because the character, the actors get older, so the character has to get older. So the world that they live in has to get older. And they, a lot of movies don't do that. They just try to, you know, put it two years ago and let it ride. But Barbershop, Ice Cube really did a fantastic job in that movie. And I was really, really entertained while watching it. Uh, another news what happened today actually battlefield dropped their new trailer for their new game called battlefield one which takes place in world war one and i am not happy about it <laughs> i'm a huge battlefield fan and i am so disappointed in it like i'm really really disappointed in this movie i mean in this in this game really disappointed in it Everybody's going forward, but Battlefield wants to go backwards. I, <laughs> everybody's moving forward. Like, literally, this is what makes me mad. They came out with Battlefield 4, then Battlefield Hardline, which was made by a different company, right? Didn't do too well. Battlefield 4 did, did excellent. Then you have Battlefield 1. How do you go backwards? Like, I don't... They, they remade their first title battlefield but now it's world war one I. I don't understand who wants to play this game i really don't but i know i don't i don't want to play world war one <laughs> you know i i don't i don't want to play world war one but they made a world war one game i'm not getting it and if especially i'm going to be done i'll be done with first person shooters if this game comes out and it's multiplayer only i will be completely done with first person shooters I will never buy a first person shooter game ever again. Like I know you guys see me play first person shooters on here, but you will not see me with first person shooter game. Like I'm playing right now Battlefield because Battlefield 4 is a great, fantastic game. I even love the story of it, but I'm not picking up another first person shooter game if this game Battlefield 1 is multiplayer only. And they have the multiplayer only games like like Battlefield 1948 and Vietnam. But, uh, you know, those were all right. It was it was like 10 bucks, you know, which is fine. That's a great price. You know, I have no problem with that. You want to make a multiplayer only game. Cool. Don't charge the people $65 to play one game. Mode. That That's my big pet peeve. And I don't know. I was really disappointed in the trailer. Like, I was so hyped to see it. I'm watching the live stream on Twitch. And I'm, I'm, I'm watching it. I'm getting excited. And then it was like, all right, we're going to show the trailer. They show the trailer. It was World 1. I was so, like, taken back. And then the guy who wanted to the host of it was like, oh, let's watch it again. It was so awesome. No, it wasn't. It wasn't awesome. <laughs> I 
I don't want to play with dust crop dust croppers, you know? I don't want to fly a dust cropper or uh, a hot air balloon. Like, I don't want to do that. You know, I don't. I don't want to do that. I don't want to shoot an M1 bolt action rifle. I don't want to do that. You know? We're moving it forward in history. Call of Duty, had, as much as I don't like Call of Duty um, multiplayer, when it comes to their gameplay, their games, they move forward in time. The first Call of Duty was World War One. Then it went to World War Two. Then it went to uh, three. Was World War Two also for some odd reason? They went backwards a little bit when they came out World at War. They went back to World War Two, and then you know they got four, which is modern, modern, modern warfare. They got Black Ops, which took place in the '60s, which hasn't been done. So you know that was a new story to do. But World War One, we we seen World War One at least a dozen times. So many different game titles. Even EA. EA has done World War One and Two at least a dozen times by themselves. You know, so for them to keep coming out with games like this is just makes me disappointed. But Call of Duty is keep moving forward. Their next one is futuristic. You know, it's that's what I like about it. That's what keeps in, intriguing me. You're like, all right, now they got they're doing space battles and air battles in it. You know, trying to catch up with with Battlefield, who has all that stuff. So why would you make go backwards in time when you can go forward and do all this extra fun stuff that you can do with your Frostbite engine and make it fantastic, you know? But no, they no. Let's just go backwards. Only cool thing they have is they ride. You can ride horses. Really? You know why you have to ride horses? Because the cars weren't made then. <laughs> there were no there were no Hummers in World War One. Ah, <sighs> that makes me mad. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to go on that rant. I'm sorry. You know, this, this just really made me mad. In other news, though, Ted Cruz dropped out of the race of the of the White House, and Trump has decided he wants to rally and unify the Republicans like the Justice League. I don't, <laughs> he said, "The only way we're gonna win is together." So, you got Hillary Clinton trying to dust off uh, Bill like some old blue blue suede shoes. She wants to bring him back out of retirement. If she wins, he will be the first man. Or is it first gentleman? I think it's first man. It has to be first first man. First, well, it was first lady. So he has to be gentleman, right? First gentleman. That would be a, literally would be a first. He'd be the first first gentleman. Holy shit. So, <laughs> so that's all I got for you guys. It's a real short show because there's not a lot going on and I'm just... Really disappointing Battlefield. Really disappointing. I hope I really hope this game is not full price. Like this if it if it's multiplayer and it's full price, I'm done with first person shooters. I'm done. Um follow me at you know Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch at Vincent Wolf. Uh you can check the links below so you can watch the trailer yourself. And you can see the trailers to Cap 3 and Barbershop in the description below. And, uh, yeah, see you guys next time.